<coughs> Hi, this is Paul Lynch from the Technology Channel in regards to my update on the uh, M Mark IV female tank from World War I uh, the body build with switcher. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a, another frog in my throat again. Right, um, first I've got to make an apology. The uh, track module build up, uh, putting it together and putting the wheels in place, the video went completely, um, completely to, um, well, to the bin basically. There was no sound on it at all all the way through the video, and I, I was putting. I actually it's my first time of doing something a build on on the site, and uh, I'm afraid it didn't didn't go too bad for the actual doing it. But the point is, once I finished and I glued the bits together and showed you me clamping it and leaving it as finished the finished article, then um, when I went back to look at it, there was no sound, and uh, in my frustration, I deleted it, and uh, I. Was, after you know frustration because I was going to put sound quality on just go to the vid computer and put sound on it but I was so frustrated in the, in the end I even spoke to what uh, to switcher about it so anyway I've had to go with um, <clears throat> as it is now I built the modules up uh, as I said but what I will say is go to switcher's video please because uh, for that track, mo track module build up but I will kind of explain what I did on on the instructions and it's going to be <clears throat> the same as what switcher did but he's done a video of it well, here we go. So what I did in the end was, is I don't know if you can see this here very good. In no, uh, not too clever. There you go. Anyway, I'm going to start to turn it out because it's actually not too bad. So what I did is, uh, when you look at it, is I did this what switcher did. Instead of putting the wheels on this side, which I originally had them in on the video, I had to remove every single one, and I used the outer plate to put the wheels on. Because it got more, more, it was easy to use. I pushed each set of wheels. I couldn't get them to click into place, but I went down there to put all the wheels into situ, and they actually got tight, a tight fit. So in other words, they would they would stand up directly upright. So then I slotted the wheels on, and then the lower wheels. But up, every pin you put on, put a wheel, the lower wheel, the wheel that goes in next to the plate, put it on the axle and push it in place. So all your lower wheels are in place. And then all I did then is come along and place the top wheels in place over the top of it. And then <clears throat> I used this plate to join to that one and I found it was a lot easier. So it worked really well. So remember this, just basically use the, the outer plate using the, the all the wheels and the axles in the right order. Using the, Still using the pattern you've got over on the on, on number, uh, what's it, abstraction 30. Still using that pattern that you've got there, the, A, the A's and the B's. Um, if you do that on this side over here, if you do it on the outer plate, it's easier. And they click into place, and then all you've got to do then is drop this one on top of the, the this plate instead of the other way around. I found that was fantastically easy. Switch had a brilliant model then, and that's what I did. It was fantastic, so really worth doing it that way. So please follow Switch's instructions. If not, do what I said: is basically use the outer plate and insert your wheels. Make sure they click or they push in firmly. That's what I'm going to say because I only had two that clicked. The rest of them went in firmly. I found that when you put the body parts together, they do click a bit more. But but I wasn't worried about the clicks. I was making sure they was firm and they did sit bolt up upright as it were. It could say excitable axles, I suppose, if you wanted to say that. But anyway, so that was really good. So that was good. Right, now my little blooper. Again, a second blooper, really, because the video was the, first, the other video was the first one. Is I've just got the track sitting on there now, just to, to, as a test fit for the axle. I've got 80 links on each one, like I said in the first place. So that's what I've got. And what I did, my second blooper was, is when I was putting them together, I never, because you can see them down that side, when I was putting them together, I never noticed that one of the rollers had dropped off. And uh, <laughs> I should have glued that one in place. So, and what, I, what it was, so what I did is I cheated and I cut it in half. So, so it clipped on the place and glued it. Yeah, because the only way you see it when the tracks are in place is from the side. I don't know if you can see there. Yeah, you can. So you can see it. So now you can see a whole wheel, which is all you're going to see. So that's the way I got round that one. I'm going to have to be more careful on my tadpole to make sure that that, that that doesn't happen. So what can I say about the build? Apart from that, the build is coming along nicely. I'm quite happy with it. And what I will say is when you do the first one, or if anyone's watching these videos that me and Switcher have done, you can see little areas where we had problems and you can actually rectify them before you start. Um, I know I've got to build the tadpole 
which is the other version of uh, this, the, the extended one, which was only ever one built evidently and it was used over tracks. It had trouble turning, I'm not surprised with the length of the back of the vehicle. So, so they didn't actually go into mass production, so there was one, one used for testing. So there you go. So what I want to say to you is basically follow the videos to get off switcher or, or use some of my videos as well and to get the idea what to do. This, this is going nice, it's going to be a really nice looking kit when it's finished and um, I'm really happy with it. Um, but as I said, I've got to, my next pass will be to paint the inside of the vehicle black and inside in the sponsons a little bit black where you work. So just in case if you can see through the slits and see any color. So I'll be painting, for the side, I'll be painting inside these borders black and inside there black. Um, reason being is if, when you look through some slits, you don't want to see anything in there because there's nothing in the vehicle. So it's got to be dark as far as I'm concerned. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Building the next thing I'll be doing after this is actually putting on those chrome, um, the uh, brackets here, the, the photo etch bits, and then painting it black in the inside and then putting the vehicle together. So the next video you should see basically black areas when you look through the sponsons which won't have any, uh, any guns in place at the moment. See all black inside just to cover that light reflection from inside when you look through a slot. And, 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 and both, both uh, track modules in place on the, on the middle centre hole. That will be my next video and that will be an, an update um, in the next few days. Uh, I'm not going to put a time on it because the last time I did that I didn't have time to do, do it. So right here we go then. So um, that's my update and as I said thank you very much for watching and I'll, I'll see you next time. And I'm very sorry about that last video that went wrong but as I said thankfully Switcher's got a nice video covering exactly the same subject and all I've done is verbally gone through it but you actually physically see how Switcher did it on his video. So go to that video. I must probably find it, find which one it is and put a link up in this video when I do it. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye.